Hello and welcome to this video on how to create a custom paper size. So in this case I'm ready to set up my cross section and we can see that the paper layout that I have chosen, the height is too big. So I want to create a custom paper size. So in this case I will go to the bottom layout and then right click and I will select move or copy. And now I need to select the layout that I want to make a copy of and I just want to mark that I want to create a copy of this layout and say OK and now we can see in the bottom that we have a copy of this one so I will just select it and now I will right click within this layout and in this case I want to select page set of manager and it's still the correct um, layout so I will just say modify and first we need to select the type of printer or plotter and in this case we will select the, the DVD to PDF then click on properties and we want to create the custom paper size and we want to create a new one so we will select add and in this case we will start from scratch say next and now we need to know the dimension of the paper and for this one I wanted um, the width to be three times um, the size of an A4 sheet so that would be 630 millimeters but I want to add the 10 millimeters to the edges so it will be 640 millimeters and the height is um, 297 plus 10 millimeters so 307 millimeters and click on next and in here you can have for example a frame or you can if you don't want a frame around the, the drawing just type in zero then click on next and you can give it a name so this one is just saying user one and then the dimension of the paper so just click on next and OK and say OK to this one and now we should be able to find the new paper size that we have created so I have the paper size right here I'll just select it and say OK and close this one and now we can see that we have a paper size that is okay within the height but we just need to move our drawing so we'll just select all of it and now I want this edge of the red line to fit with the edge of the paper so I'll just type in M for move and just move it to the edge of the paper just like this and also I want to minimize the viewport a bit and in this case we also want to have some folio marks at the top of this uh, paper right here so it's easiest just to um, delete the frame and also the folded marks and then to create some new folded marks we'll just uh, use the rectangle tool and just draw from the edge of the paper like this and now I want to offset the, the rectangle with 5 millimeters. so I will select the rectangle type in O for offset and I will type in 5 because I want to offset it 5 millimeters. and I will just put the cursor inside the paper and I will do it once more like this and then we have the next step I will just draw a line and in this case I will draw a line from um, the rectangle which is located 5 millimeters from the edge of the paper like this and now I will select the line and again I will use the offset tool so type in O for offset and I want to offset it 210 millimeters hit enter and just offset these like this and I'm ready to trim the lines so I will type in 
TR for trim and I want to trim the lines according to the rectangle which is located um, t around 10 millimeters from the edge of the paper so I'll select this as a borderline, hit enter let me do it again and now I can select the lines and the lines will be trimmed according to this uh, edge right here so now I can just delete this rectangle and then the edge that we have right here that will be the edge of the paper so we need to cut the paper according to this uh, rectangle right here and the reason that I added 5 millimeters to each end of the height so I have a total of 10 millimeters added to the height is when I make the PDF file we will get a preview or we will get um, some description saying that this is a student version of Autodesk so in this case we can cut it off when we have added the, the extra dimensions to the height and the width but this is the principle of how you make a custom paper size and how you can add uh, new folded marks and so on